Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Celebrating the 75 years of independence, the theme of President's Fleet Review 2022 or PFR 22 is Indian Navy 75 years in service of the nation. Ahead of the PFI 2022, Indian Navy has today successfully test-fired a naval variant of the advanced supersonic BrahMos cruise missile from a stealth guided missile destroyer INS Vishakhapatnam. INS Vishakhapatnam is the lead ship and the first of the Vishakhapatnam class stealth guided missile destroyer of Indian Navy with a massive displacement of 74,000 ton. It will be the lead ship for PFI 2022 scheduled on 21st Feb to be held in Vishakhapatnam. The fleet review is a long-standing tradition followed by navies all across the world and it is an assembly of the ships at a pre-designated place for the purpose of displaying loyalty and allegiance to sovereign and the state. A fleet review is usually conducted once during the tenure of the president. This will be 12th president fleet review. The last one was conducted in 2016 under the President Pranab Mukherjee. President Ram Nath Kovin will attend the event which will see more than 60 ships and submarines, 50 aircraft participating on 21st February in Vishakhapatnam. Each ship would render a salute to the Supreme Commander as they sail past. Indian naval aircraft would simultaneously fly overhead the formation rendering their salute. Including today's test firing of BrahMos missile, India has fired three BrahMos missiles this year. Two of them includes advanced version of BrahMos or BrahMos extended range missile and one coastal version of BrahMos test fired by Andaman and Nicobar Command, a tri services theater command of the Indian Armed Forces. The two test firing of BrahMos air missile confirms the successful integration of new extended range supersonic crew missile with India's massive destroyer. The 74,000 ton INS Vishakhapatnam can carry 16 BrahMos IA missile in its 28 cell vertical launch system. This is a huge capability in itself. The new missile will purportedly be able to hit targets at a distance of up to 800 kilometers. What is not clear from these tests is the range for which BrahMos IA was tested. The capability what BrahMos ER is going to provide will completely change the balance of surface warfare towards India. Under Project 15B, there are plans to build a total of four destroyers to be commissioned by 2025. These ships have been designed indigenously by Indian Navy's Directorate of Naval Design. The four vessels of this class are Vishakhapatnam, Murmugaon, Imphal and Surat being built by Mazgaon Dock Limited MDL. INS Vishakhapatnam entered into service on 21st November 2021. The second destroyer of Vishakhapatnam class Murmugaon is almost ready. The vessel has completed its basic trials on 14th December and has started its maiden sea trials from 19th December 2021. The vessels of this class are equipped with Otto Milera 76mm naval gun. For point defense, the vessels are equipped with 4 AK 630M close in weapon system with two systems on either side of the superstructure. For anti-air warfare, the destroyers are equipped with 32 Barak 8ER surface-to-air missile LRSAM in 4-8 cell VLS. For anti-surface warfare, the destroyers are equipped with 16 BrahMos anti-ship missiles which can also be used as land attack missile enclosed in 2-8 cell VLS at the bow. For anti-submarine warfare, each destroyer is equipped with twin torpedo launchers. It may be used for launching the Varunastra Heavyweight Torpedo developed by DRDO. The destroyers are also equipped by two RBU-6000 anti-submarine rocket launchers primarily for firing anti-submarine rockets. In future, the Nivea cruise missile and the VLSR-SAM surface-to-air missile have been speculated to be integrated with the destroyer. Talking about the advanced electronic warfare system, the ship will have the most advanced EW suite built in India till date. It is equipped with Shakti EW suite. Shakti will provide capability of interception, detection, classification, identification and jamming of conventional as well as modern radars.
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.